All right, hello and welcome to another episode of the Creator Club Career Mode of Callum with FC. We are here today with episode, I want to say 13, it might be 12, might be 14. I, I, I've lost count if I'm being completely honest, but we're here with another episode of the Career Mode. Just out of the gate as well, the usual warning, it could lag because of the weather and because the internet isn't wonderful. So if there's lag spikes at any point, um, I apologise. If there's too much lag, I'll just cancel it and maybe record it a wee bit later or another day. But, if you didn't see the last episode, we took on, who did we take on? We took on Brighton in the FA Cup, uh, we got humbled there, 4-2, which makes sense really, because they are a Premier League team, they should be beating us, so that shouldn't be a struggle for them really. We gave them a bit of a fight, we went 2-0 up, but um, their quality showed through, and they got the victory. But then we beat 3-0, uh, we beat extra 3-0 I should say, in the league, and um, we actually got our first clean sheet, partly, in fact, probably mostly in fact, to uh, let uh, extra get a red card along the way, which um, is quite funny. Uh, got in the twenty second minute or something like that, twentieth minute area kind of thing, and um, yeah, clean sheet there. And then we went against Tranmere, and I thought we were going to do the same again. We went up two 0 I think it was, or one nil. We went in the lead anyway, but then I don't know what went wrong, but they just started scoring goals for fun. It was three all at half time. And then ended up getting the winner in the second half, and we were on the losing end, unfortunately. So I was thinking of changing the difficulty for stuff, uh, or the sliders, perhaps. But I'm going to just not do that at the moment, because I, we've got a little bit cocky there. We are at 18th, which isn't bad at all. We still have a top scorer in the league, which is Jaden Coates on 16. And Newport are just above us. If we beat them, we'll overtake them, which is good. Who else are we playing, you might ask? Well, let me tell you. We're going to be playing against... Is that Port Vale? I think that's Port Vale. Um, and then we'll end off January with the transfer deadline day in use. And then potentially, in fact, definitely we'll be playing Oldham. And potentially we'll go further. I'm not sure yet. Depends how I feel on this game today. But we'll continue with the three-game thing for now. So if we keep going, we've got 19 league games left. So six more episodes, I reckon, if I keep going at the three-game thing. And then one episode will be four games. But I suppose if I do more games per episode, it could be about four or five episodes till the end of the season we'll see um how i'm feeling about playing the game like i said but we're getting there we're getting towards the end of our first season we're over the halfway point now at least anyway Let's see if there's any news that we should care about here welcome newport expecting another win against newport did we beat what was the score last time will it show us on this article or we'll have to go into the calendar 4-1 oh fair enough i mean i didn't expect i well, not didn't expect i'm surprised Wait, wasn't that the first win we got after so long of losing? That might have been that one. But yeah, we lost. We lost to Tramir and our five league win run came to an end, disappointingly. But I think we're out of the relegation area a bit. I just want to take a look at the bottom end of the table. Just in terms of how many points we are off the bottom now. Never mind, it's still very, it's still very tight at the bottom. It's still very tight all over the gaff. Look at this. I think I, I think I made this clear last time, but 24th and 7th only have 11 point gaps. So if you get 4 wins, you're back in it, more or less. It's a bit mad how close everything is. But then uh, the top 4 separating a little bit, getting a bit of uh, traction up at the top. So, Leighton Orient, Exeter and Tramere currently occupy the automatic promotion places. Stevenage, Colchester, Bristol Rovers and Northampton are in the top 7. And... Um, all the other teams are further down. I'm not going to waste too much time talking. We're going to get to our first game against Newport. But um, I'm not going to use this team. I'm going to use the team, but I'm not going to use all the players. I'm going to try to switch a couple around. We're going to give Vuksic a run out alongside Brady. Um, do I give Arlo Bourne? Yeah, I'll give Arlo Bourne a run out. Well, how old is actually? How old is Bourne? He's 30. So, yeah, it might not have another season here. Uh, I thought he was younger than he was. Uh, Callum Lees, Finley Lucas, Nikolai Allo, Marin Mason, Amaral. I kind of want a new left attacking mid, to be honest. So, I don't mind Amaral, but realistically, I'm going to need someone better if we want to get promoted. Obviously, we don't have anyone like that now. I'm going to give Josh Guest a start. Might as well. No, I'm not. I don't want to stop. I don't want to stop Jaden Coates' momentum. So I'm only actually making two changes: uh, Parker for Vuksic and Wilkins for Bourne. 
So we've got Dorovic in goal, Bourne and Arlo as the fullbacks, Vuksic and Brady as the centre backs, Lees and Lucas as the centre midfielders, Amaral, Mason and Marin as the attacking midfield line, and then up front, the man in form at the moment, Jaden Coates. You can't really, I can't really give a reason for dropping him when he is scoring brilliant amounts of goals right now. This is what I've been wanting from him, and he's finally coming to fruition. Uh, as for their team, they've got 5 2 3, so another 5 at the back. We'll see what we can do. Make sure the kits aren't clashing, they're not. We're good. But yeah, if there's any lag, it's gale force winds outside and the rain is belting down. I should have said this out at the start as well, but I don't know if anyone cares. Uh, personal achievement for me, I achieved yesterday. I finally passed my driving test. I'm not going to tell you how many attempts it took because it's kind of embarrassing, but it finally, finally passed it. So if I'm not doing as many career mode episodes, it's because I'm out on the roads. In all seriousness though, I'll try and keep the career mode going. My parents are away all next week, so I kind of don't have to be like as quiet as I usually would have to be, which isn't too bad. The man to watch. But of course, it's nice to be quiet in the realms of everyone else, all the neighbours and the fact that I still have work. So we'll see. I might be able to get some more career mode out over the next week. I'll give it a go anyway. And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position. Oh, not much coffee in the morning. To wake you up. Robson. I'm very excited to be able to bring you live action. It's a record if anyone's interested in recording this. It's currently 25 past 10 Saturday morning, so. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you're interested, that's the time. Outrun your opponent. This should be uploaded the same day. To show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. But we'll see. See how we get on. It might not be an episode tomorrow because it's my dad's birthday. But again, we'll see. Despite the fact that we lost our last game against Tranmere, I'm somewhat positive. They have got a good squad, to be fair. A lot of names I recognise. And that might be because I've played them already, but also I just recognise them anyway from seeing them in League 2. I don't watch a lot of League 2 football, but when I see when Bradford City are playing, I'll pay a bit of attention to it. Speaking of which, our next local derby against Bradford City, where we're hoping to exact revenge, isn't until the end of April, I believe. So we've still got a long way before the other the other local derby. I believe it's our third to last or even second to last game of the season. So we've got a long way to go yet. But I'm looking forward to that. Lost 2-1 in the first local derby, unfortunately. But uh, hopefully, like I said, we're going to exact revenge. So we're at Roydwood Terrace. And we're underway. I don't know why my arrow's still yellow. It's my first controller. I don't have more than one controller. Well, I don't have my own controller on. And room now out on the flank. Um, Throwing, I should block the pitch in. I think my left stick's getting to the point where it wants to give up. <laughs> so I'm going to have to switch controller if I do have, if I can find my other controller. Lees. Amaral. Out to Lees. On the ball, Lucas. And to Lucas. Just playing it around a little bit. Now we've won the ball. Brady we didn't even actually have to win the ball, to be honest. Lees. A Newport player dribbled out of play. <laughs> I'm not complaining about. Just Mason. try to play it around a little bit. Promising attack this. I want that Maddie. to go to Coates, but that's okay. On the ball, Lucas. It should be. Try to find an the way to get to the shot off. We've got the shot off. Saved. 
It's going to be a lot. We just have to keep. I'm just going to have to keep learning to pass around until well, I get an opening. Certainly can't underplay how proficient the home side are in front of goal. Just look at the. Because it's not going to. I'm not going to be able to do counter-attacking football against five at the back. Well, exactly. Realistically, I'm so fluid at home. They just know exactly where the next pass should be going. They've got such a great understanding of the game plan. And a lot oh, of I've tried to get onto Mason's side. head, but it didn't really flick well enough for it, and Newport can get it away. Clark. I've seen people do simulated career modes, and Newport's a team they always seem to struggle against in the simulations, but I'm, the, I'm one of the rare ones who's actually... Newport's been a good omen for me because for we beat them to end our losing streak at the start of the season. That being said, we might be going down 1-0 here. Vucic clears it up, no problem, and Finley Lucas can get it away. And in the end, no damage done. I'm feeling a lot more positive now it's on world class, and I'm actually getting the hang of world class now, so... Please. If it gets too easy, then obviously I'll switch things around. But at the moment, I'm comfortable with it. Because even though I'm putting quite a lot of attacking pressure on each game, defending is still dire. I'm trying to turn back with Lucas there, but he's taking the touch too far away from him. I've pressed, I'm pressing LB to check it to Arlo Bourne. I think I might just have to try and learn the right stick method, because it is there. But I just don't use it. Running with the ball confidently. I need Crossing someone to mark someone. Really Alo does that. The cross was awful, to be fair, actually, from the Newport player. Uh, it wasn't too worried it. in the end, but the mark in there from my players was diabolical. I was trying to get back to Bourne so Brady could go back into the uh, into the centre back role, and it just he just wouldn't. He refused. No problem with Mason. He's a brilliant player. I've said this before. He's a brilliant player, but his pace lets him down. I didn't want him to take that touch before the shot. I just wanted him to shoot. And that's what's happened there. That's what's gone wrong there. I sound a little tired. It is because I've just woken up about 15 minutes ago. Made a coffee. Came up to stream. Thank you, Alex. But that's an awful touch. Is it? It is. <laughs> it turns out to be. Not a lot of action in this game yet. And Babu's gone from Wolfsburg to... Is that Wren? I think that might be Wren. After the next game against Port Vale, we'll take a look at all the biggest and uh, best January moves. Just to see if there's any moves of note. And Babu apparently is one of those moves of note. It's not a great price for him, but... I mean, at the end of the day... If Wolfsburg have only asked for 18 million, then they're only going to get 18 million. I don't know how that hasn't gone to my player. Okay, here we go. Prime Barcelona coming into the place. Forward. This is where they score their goal. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. It's, too, it's too predictable. The game is too predictable. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. I've tried to drag my defender across as well, but when the game wants to score, the game will score. Well, as you can see, he beats the defenders so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. It's a good finish, to be fair, to the striker, but I'm trying to bring my defence across. Dordovic's positioning is not great, which is why we're working on it. And we are 1 0 down. I don't know if it's deserved, to be honest. I feel like we've had the balance of play. But you, you just know when there's going to be a goal. <laughs> You can predict it. Oh, of course, it's his first goal. He's a striker who's played every single game this season, I think, so besides one, again, by the looks of it. And score. it's his first goal. Why would you put that guy at striker? Maybe he's had a lot of assists, I don't Born. know. He's probably going to score three Please. today because it's always the ones now, that don't perform in every other game. Games. Are the Here's ones that come up here and perform. Yep, it's a goal for Leighton Orient. Oh, Mason, man, that's an awful touch. Cheers, Alex. League leaders in the lead, as you can hear from the goal news. I'm not really paying full attention to it. Yeah, I think me learning the right stick changing player thing is going to have to be a thing. Dorovic with a save. I think it was a save anyway. It might have just gone straight over. Same corner. I think he might hit off the bar. And taken short. Well, if it had not been saved, that's what I mean. Down. Okay, that was a wonderful bit of creation there from Newport. That's what we're losing to. Oh yeah, they're just gonna the game's just gonna laugh at me by showing me the goal again. 
the finish wasn't even bad. It was just the fact that I'm trying to bring my defender across and they've got the pace of a dead donkey. Like, there's no... There's no pace, there's no agility. I need faster defenders, quite frankly. I need Lacroix on my team. Obviously, can't forward him, but it'd be nice to have him, you know? Mason. A foul, but advantage Some of these tackles today. that the AI puts in are actually, like, awful. Mason, do you want to come forward, mate? I, believe there's been I know you're being held back by the AI, matches. but... <laughs> Alex Scott has the details. Jaden Coates. Jaden Coates again. Yeah, right. Bit of luck on our side there, but I'm not going to complain about it. And our main striker at the moment, our hitman up top, bags another one. That's number 17 for Jaden Coates. That's unfortunate for the goalkeeper, but I didn't even aim the shot. I didn't even aim the shot like that. Well, I wanted to shoot it on my right foot initially and aim it bottom left, but Jaden Coates took it on his left to put it straight at the goalkeeper. Luckily, we get the rebound, and there's nothing they can do about it. And we get the equaliser here at Roydwood Terrace. Back underway, level pegging. I believe that's 17 uh, and 23 now, 17 and 24, some well, wacky record. 17 and 21, madness. He's definitely coming up, up now, he's definitely coming to form. And he's only 27 or 28, so we've got another se couple of seasons out of him yet. Obviously, I'll be looking for a better striker, but... It is to be a throw -in. We'll keep Jaden Coates for as long as we need to. He was meant to be my main goal scorer at the start of the season. I said that oh, he's probably going to be the main source of goals. He start, didn't start off too great. But uh, he's come into his own. So fair play to Jaden Coates. Oh, alo has been done in. I didn't even realise I was controlling the centre-back, truth be told. This looks promising. I just assumed I was controlling the player that's not within the fucking play. Wasn't a great clearance, but Dordovic gets a save. I don't really know what I'm meant to do there with Arlo Bourne, to be honest. There's no one to head it to. If that had gone in at near post, I think I would have got mad. It's gone wide anyway. But Dordovic's not taking chances. Ensuring that he makes the save. He didn't need to. But uh, he has done. And they're going to go short. Fuck's sake, man. I'm not allowed to move my players yet. There we go. Amaral coming in close. They've had to do a quick cross in. And it might work for them because the passing is diabolical in this game. Do we get a counter on here, perhaps? No, the, the Amaral's pass just hasn't travelled. <laughs> Stay on him. Oh, no. That, go that goes in. That's a scripted FIFA goal right there. You can fucking smell that. You can smell the scripting coming off that. And it's the guy who hasn't scored all season has now scored twice. That doesn't go in in any other circumstance. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way I don't understand what this fucking game's fetish is for stupid goals. That doesn't go in in any other way. Like, I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. I don't. I just don't get it. I put a defender across, I pressed the tackle, and it just, I don't know, I don't know how he managed just to get away each time, and he's scored two now in this game, he hasn't scored all season. We're, we're helping his stats a little bit, to be fair, but that's not what we want to do. And it's right on the stroke of half-time, it's the 45-minute curse, which seems to be a curse the in these episodes, it's a pain in the arse. 2-1 down, quite frankly, not sure if we deserve to be, but it's where we're at. They probably had the edge in shots, but I just feel like we've had more of the game. I don't know. Maybe bias is overtaking my mind, but I don't... It's too... The first goal was really nice. But it's just two defensive errors where my defence are too slow. I can't keep up with the striker. Take a look at the other half-time results. If your team is there and they're winning, good, good for you, I guess. I'm not trying to say it in a bad way, but I'm not happy that we're losing here. Take a look at the stats, half time. They've had possession. But you look at the expected goals and you wonder, what the fuck? You maybe think, is it time Lishka gets another chance in net? Both teams have four shots on target. Um, but somehow we've got more of the expected goals. I'm not going to complain about it. I just, I just feel like 
we deserve it based off of that. But um, yeah, four shots apiece. They've had the possession. We've had the expected goals. They've had pretty much everything else. But my god, I just feel like we've been controlling the game. The game tells me actually they have. I'm like, oh. I'm going to have to stop doing that pass out to the left. Because sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Brady. So we need an equaliser. More importantly, if we can, Mason. we need to get a winner. And also, well, actually, the most Please. important is to not concede anymore, but... Alert I wanted to pass to Amaral, but he's in no good... The run's fucking awful from him. Let me guess, Hilton's going to get his hat-trick in the second half. I already smell it coming. Upson. Moving the ball effectively. Yeah, I think the difficulty's the just fine where it is. Can he make it count? The save was a good one. Good save from Dordovic, more or less at him, but uh, great play from Newport. I've got to give them credit there for that attack. Good passing around. I can keep up with it. Fortunately, it's ended up in a save from our goalkeeper, otherwise, I would have been angry. If we go 3 1 down, the game's gone. Come short. Why is it? Like, why does it take forever for me to come short? The player. Amaral's just been done. Colts is trying to lose us the ball. Mason's going to make the uh, the counter run here. Not the fastest, like I said, but who else can do it? Got Jaden Colts, and that's it. Billy Lucas coming in. Well, realistically, I should be scoring from there since their player did, right? But no, their, their goalkeeper just catches it, no problem. My, my goalkeeper's not out of catch a cold, mate. We're in the pandemic still. Wilmot down the right for Newport. I'm not really happy about how bad we are at defending these. Are you kidding me? You couldn't keep. I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep that in, and it's so stupid, man. I'm running at the ball, and the game's like, uh, give him the corner. See what they do with it. Fuck's sake, man. I know what they're gonna do with it. They're gonna go bloody short because they always do. Substitution. That better be Hilton coming off. Yeah, it isn't. Tell for making way for Bennett. I already know that Hilton hat trick goal is going to come in at some point. I'm not even like. I could be surprised when it happens. I'm not actually going short with it. Okay. They're going long with it. The opposite of what they usually do. It's going way off target though from Fog Parson. Which is actually quite a cool name. <laughs> no worries on that occasion but we still need to find that equalizer man i may need to bump it up to attacking just to get a bit more you know movement lucas gets tackled so but we get it to owl left, lucas in to mason amaral is in a bit of space will he get it he will please back into lees jay mason making the run through i don't know what on earth the ball thinks it's doing lees is a very good tackle off to Lucas, it was meant for Mason, but it's a shot from Lucas, and it's a save from Day. We got a little bit lucky with some of the bounces there, but it's not a bad shot at the end of the day. Finley Lucas trying to get the equaliser for his team, the captain, trying to lead us to a point here at least. But save from Day, keeps it 2-1 Newport. Of course, they'll be looking for revenge, due to the fact that we beat them earlier in the season. Why is he coming from all the way over there? <laughs> Callum Lees to deliver. It's headed away only as far as Amaral. who has been absolutely tackled there. And it could be... Oh, dear me. It could be a counter here. It switched off the player I want to use. You've got to be fucking kidding me, man. That's a brilliant... <laughs> like, you can't fight the game. I've, I've realised you can't fight the game. <laughs> There's no point in trying, is there? Right. <laughs> like, why am I not surprised that it's Hilton with his hat trick goal? It just. My guy's running. Bor, I think it's Bourne who's run across him for whatever reason. Uh, Borovic has saved it straight back to his feet. I'm 
just don't, I don't understand. Defending this year is just a myth. It's a myth. I think by the looks of it, we're going to open the stream with an L, which is not fun. We did go attack in there, but it was from the corner. They counter-attack. The counter-attack was really good, and... I mean, Hilton has the speed, but at the end of the day, man, like... We should be... Should be defending that a bit better. But, um, yeah, I'm bringing Mason off because he is buggered. Try to carry this team. And since we're probably not going to get a result here, we might as well rest him. It just, uh, it just doesn't seem like it's going to be our day. They've got less expected goals, but it just seems to score on every attack. I'm going to give I'm going to give Lishka another chance, but if he absolutely bottle jobs it in the next game as Port Vale, then he, he's gone. I'll have to keep him till the summer, but he's gone after that. But I can't get the pass off to Laurie. And pressure's just not going to pay off for us, I don't think. And now we've got all our players up position. There's no, ch no shot, man. No shot. Brady's vortexed away from him without me even pressing anything. And if he'd scored that in the near post, Dordovic might have been subbed off. That would have been Hilton's fourth. He hasn't scored all season, but he comes up against us and performs like nobody's business. That's so annoying, man. So making the substitution now. Substitution for Newport, anyway. Missalou coming on for Abraham. Got 19 minutes to scrape something out of this game, but I don't. I just. The way that it's been going, I just don't think it's going to happen. Well, every attack they have, they score. The exactly or most attacks they have. Every attack they have on target, they've scored, I think. Something ridiculous like that. It just, it just doesn't feel like... I want it to be positive, but it just doesn't feel like we're getting anything in this game. Colts, I haven't turned him like that. I haven't turned like that at all. But apparently he's just turned straight into the defender. Arlo Bourne, not the fastest. Also not the best intercepting apparently. Oh my god. Bruv, they just play around me. Like I, what can I do? I try to do something that just doesn't do anything. I'm trying to put players in the way and I can't intercept. Amaral somehow got that. I'm not quite sure how. Well let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Into Lucas, onto Coates. Over to oh it's not over. It's on the floor to Lolo Tanzio, but it might be offside. It's not. Alright. Maybe, just maybe we got something in this match. Why is every game I have, I have to have a lot of goals in it? Can we not, not have some realistic scorelines? Well, I mean, I, I get three all every so often. No but it's three all nearly every week. That, what a great finish. The finish was awful. More or less straight at the goalkeeper who dove out of the way. If you could hear my dog, she's barking at the next door neighbor's dog. So apologies if you can. If you can't, then it's fine. Can't really say but the way this game's going, I three, might two. just only play three, honestly. It's doing my head in already. It, this game in particular, I've defended, I wouldn't say brilliantly. Well, but I'm putting players in the way the as best I can. And there's just, the Hilton's territory. got the extra yard of pace that so suddenly just comes out of nowhere. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. I don't know where Allo is, but luckily he's offside. Get yeah, ready to the yellow Nikolai Allo there. Coles has barely used any stamina, and we're 10 minutes off the end. Uh, fuck it, I'll bring on Farrer. See what we can do. I know he probably won't contribute anything, but we've got 10 minutes to get an equaliser potentially. I know exactly what's going to happen. We'll fight for the equaliser. They'll get six minutes of added time and they'll score the fourth because that's how this game works. But I can fight. Best I can. I'll give it a go anyway. Nikolai Allo out to Marin, who's not really been involved in this game at all, to be honest. I need to start playing more down the right. Marin is better than Amaral. I'm sorry, Amaral, but it's true. By a way for uh, offside. Was he offside? Fuck. Well, look at the suggested substitution, man. <laughs> a speedy attacker for a slow centre-back. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you, that's going to go. We need more depth in that position. On that left side, anyway. The centre attacking mid-spots and right attacking mid-spots are probably okay. Actually, the whole attacking mid needs a bit of a... 
Um, depth, I think. Burrow is going to run straight into the defender despite the fact that I tried to mix the space. And of course, with the uh, usual of something going wrong, I think the game audio is fucked. Oh, no, it's fixed itself. I think. I can't really tell. Vuksic heading it away. Dordovic was there to collect, but Vuksic just making sure. I don't trust goalkeepers in this game one bit. Apparently they've been buffed. I've not, I've not seen it yet. <laughs> but Laurie. Oh my god, again. Oh, it's not going to fall for him. Are you joking me? Coates, just pass it off. There's no need to take fucking three touches. I'm pressing A before it's even got to you. You're just still taking touches, for whatever reason. Oh, well, it's another L. Another L to add to the collection of L's that we've taken this season. Hopefully next season we'll come back stronger. I'm more prepared to get some more W's. Six minutes of time. There you go. Called it. Now this is where they're going to get their fourth. I'm not going to intentionally let them have it, just to be right, but... I wouldn't well, be surprised. Alright, come on. We've got a bit of time here. I don't know where the six minutes has come from, to be quite honest with you. But um, we've got a bit of time to get the equaliser. Let's push for it, boys. Let's push for it. Ultra attack him for the last four minutes. It might result in us conceding, but we're also making a substitution. Greenidge coming on for Hilton. Oh, now you bring Hilton off. Now he's got his hat trick. I hate this game because it's always the players that have not performed for the rest of the season. They just turn up against us for whatever reason. They're suddenly the best in the world. Lucas. Through to Laura Tanzio. Poach. On to Furrer. Oh, was he on side at least? Really he was. Alright. Quarter. Possibly the last chance here. The ball from Coates was genuinely awful. How it's even got to fire, I've not understood. But we've had the chance and uh, now we've got one last one. We're just gonna boot it straight in. And there's the delivery. And that's Marius Marin, man. The the well off the mark. That was it. That's that's the chance, unless we can somehow counter the goal kick straight away. That's that's the game. Well, you know what? Honestly, I don't I don't know if they deserve it. They have won it, but I don't know if they deserve it. They're just gonna play it around now for the last few minutes. They're just holding it there. And They're just passing it around the, the back, man. The well, you can't win them all. But uh, I feel like we should have won that one. Yes, they only lost by one goal. Of course, the guy who hasn't scored all season goes and gets hat trick. It's actually unreal how I can predict this game. I mean, they didn't score a fourth, to be fair, but we didn't score the equaliser, and we walk away from the home game in our own stadium, Newport going back down to Wales with the three points. Hilton, 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 of course, shocker, doesn't perform the whole season, suddenly just, I don't know what his pace is, but apparently he could just beat all my defence, which isn't really a big accomplishment, to be honest, because my defence is slow. Looking at the stats, it should have been a draw, <laughs> and then looking at the expected goals, we should have won. I mean, it's an objective game, really. You, you guys could decide who should have won there. We have lost, and that's not that's not changeable. But um, it's really bloody annoying, man. 50-50 uh, turns of possession, nine shots each. They, it's exactly the same stats, but we've got 4.7 expected goals, and they've got 2.6. So by the stats, we've had two more goals. We didn't have them. Look at the ratings. Jaden Coates, of course, man of the match again. I need to keep him on the pitch as much as I can if I'm expecting goals because he's on top form right now. Goal and assist from him with an 8.7 rating. Finley Lucas as well, 7.5. Jay Mason with an assist and a 7 rating. Loyal Tanzio as well with a goal and a 6.5. I don't know if he really works in cam, to be honest. Maybe I'll have to keep him in striker. Wait, why, why was he in cam? Hold on. No, no, wait a minute. He was striker. It must have been the it must have been the game plan thing. Whatever, dude. It wouldn't have made a difference anyway. Their goalkeeper was actually quite good when he needed to make the saves. We got two goals that one was a rebound and one was straight at him and he avoided it for whatever reason. But the rest of the time he was a good goalkeeper. 
Right, I'm going to switch the goalkeepers around and see if Lishka can do any better. Let's get to that point where I need to... I feel like Borovic is doing rubbish. Just a moment of your time. Helmut versus Newport. We lost 3-2. And... Oh, it seems like... It was a difficult game. Because the game just scripted against us. We had 2.1 more expected goals. One mistake could be costly. Well, we had three mistakes. Our defence just couldn't keep up with Hilton for whatever reason. Apparently, he's got 16 million pace. No, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check footbin for this. What are we doing the interview? How did you get turned over this time around? Um, we didn't handle the pressure very much. I mean, the defence was just awful, more or less. Oh, he's got 84 pace. Okay, fair enough then. <laughs> like, he realised he was that fast. He's also left winger, according to FIFA. And he's 1.7k. He's kind of mad. Uh, must have thought you got something from the game. Why did you seem to come sure? Um, can't waste time for the sort of ourselves. We can't say Newport are better because we were better. In my opinion. It was very equal, but we had more expected goals. Thank we you, that's all the questions chances. we have for you. And the game expected us to score more. But, um, yep, yeah, another loss, unfortunately. Puts us back down the table a little bit. If we'd beaten them, we would have gone above them, but not happening. Go ahead, Eagles have shown interest in taking Dragon and Kovacic on loan deal with an option to buy. Um, first of all, it's not going to be an option to buy. It's just going to be a loan. It's only going to be till the end of the season. Just see how he grows. Depend if he grows really well, he might go ahead of Luca Bailey, but... Don't know yet. Still got a bit of time before the end of the transfer window. We're not going to be making any signings ourselves. Pavlovich has finished his development. So let me just go sort that out after we see what we've got here. Kovacic's loan agreement. Now it's up to Kovacic if he wants to go. But they've agreed to it. I've agreed to it. He could be going to the Netherlands for a little bit. Pavlovic. Will this make him any better? No, it's actually kept him the same. I thought that would, I thought that would help him, but I guess not. Um, oh, actually, his stats are kind of rubbish just everywhere. Anyway, we might as well just keep simulating. No more transfer news, but another game to come up with. Are we getting another transfer? Oh, we're getting some news, at least. Kovacic loaned out. He's going to be gone for the rest of the season. I've pressed the wrong button. Oh, let's see what the other email said. Dordovic loan offer. No, he's our... At the moment, he's our main goalkeeper. I'm not interested in loaning him out at the moment. We are going to give Lishka the start in this next game. Just, I know he's awful, but I want him to. I want him to be good. Because he's got a higher rating, and I just feel like he has the potential. That being said, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it here now. If he concedes more than two, he's going in the summer. I'll do my utmost to try and defend. Don't get me wrong. But um, but um, if he concedes more than two. I don't really know what to do with him because he's got the stats. He could be a good goalkeeper. Thank you for joining it us just here seems today. to be. We'll be he likes to avoid today. everything. Pretty even on paper. I'm sure he got a plan to win the game. Yeah, it's called We Need to Defend and hope they don't have a fast striker. We won't underestimate them. I don't even remember what the score was last time between us and Port Vale. I think we might have edged it. Oh, they edged it. Well, one of us edged it, alright? Tough for both teams. Why do I feel like they probably went 3-0 up and then we got two back but couldn't get the third? It just seems like... It seems like one of those games. We just lost 3-2 there. We need to stay out of trouble. We'll work hard, that's for sure. We should be in the situation because we're not really too great at the moment. The squad is bare bones at this point. I'm really hoping the second season we get some free agents and some youth Apologies academy players that will fully improve much. the team. If we don't get those, then it's not the end of the world. But I would hope we get 
some kind of help. But anyway, take a look at the top scorers. Coates and Latanzio up there. Mason in fourth. So we're getting the goals. It's just the defensive end of things that we're struggling with still. We're going to actually concede probably at 150 by the end of the season. But hey, <laughs> just shows that our defence sucks. So, big risk here. Looking at his stats, his positioning is quite rubbish. But I've put him on a goalkeeper drill for that, I'm pretty sure. Everything else isn't actually awful. But, um, I'm, I'm already regretting it. Uh, we'll stick with this team. Mason's 80 now. Yeah, he's going to be called by the end of the season. That's mad. We're going to give Latanzio the start up top. I know Coates has been doing really well, but we're going to give Latanzio a run out. And I think that's just the way we're going to leave it, to be honest. We'll try to see if I want anyone else. You know what, actually? I want Luca Bailey to get some game time. So he's going to get some game time. I want him to improve. I feel like he could be a really good right back. Given the chances. And I want to give him some chances, but we've only got league games left, so it's not as easy. I'll probably give him cup games if I could, but we're not in any cups. So we've got Lishka in goal. God help me. Wilkins and Bailey as the fullbacks. Parker and Brady as the centre-backs. Lees and Lucas as the midfield duo. Amaral, Mason and Marin as the attacking midfield. And then Laurel Tanzio up top. Um, Mason, I don't know why he would want to stay here. He's 80 rated in League 2. And he's only going to grow better. Honestly, if I get a mad offer for him, I may have to accept it and then come back to him later on. But uh, we'll see. 5-3-2 for Port Vale. 5 at the back again. I'm hoping Laura Letangio's pace will help us in that situation. Laura Letangio, actually, fair play to him. He's got up 3 since he signed for the club. Um, he could be around high... Well, not high. Uh, low 60s by the end of the season. Honestly, it depends on his form. If he keeps the form up, may even get to, I would say, 62. 61, 62 area. And he'll only improve after that as well. He's young and he's got good potential. And he's fast, which is a key, key aspect. There's one striker. I think we already know which one striker I'm going to go for, if I can, in the summer. is Ricky Jade Jones, just for anyone who's not aware of that. Mainly because of his pace, but his shooting stats as well are very good. And he's very young still too. And if we get him... We're probably going to win the league. No matter how many we concede, he'll just score dozens. We've got a good history with him. Port Vale hosting us today. What's the stadium called? That's a good question. What's the answer? I don't know. Let me Google it. Port Vale. coach I played under would all before kick off earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent. Port Vale's in Stoke? Well, within Stoke. I know it's not an actual place, but like. Stadium name. Oh, Vale Park. Okay. Makes a lot of sense. So the initial 11 for the home side. Take a look well, at Port shape, Vale's starting 11. They've got some forward, names that I recognise that could be problematic. They probably were problematic in our last game. Threat. Did we take these guys on a cup as well? We might have taken them on in the, an early round of the Carabao Cup, maybe. I'm trying to remember. We probably lost them as well, because I think it was still legendary difficulty at that point. I don't understand why I started on legendary. I'm still looking back at that time and wondering what the fuck was wrong with me. Obviously, I should have started on world class uh, like I'm do well, like I'm on now, and then maybe work up to legendary. But I don't think the working up to legendary is going to come anytime soon because world class is a pain. Lishka, this is your proving ground. If you let more than two in, then. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see what happens to you. Now, if we could not lag as well. I know it's bad weather, but if we could try not to lag as much as we can, that'd be wonderful. And now they get the ball rolling. Right, let's see what we got on tap for this game. An immediate tackle from Callum Lees. I'm not complaining about that. And Wilkins... It's a searching ball for Amaral. It won't find him by any means. Uh, it's uh, very searching. I think what I've realised is I need a new, uh, faster left mid. 
Faster right mid. And they continue better centre backs. And a lot of uh, I think striker's probably the only, and well, of course, a go better goalkeeper as well. But I don't think it's the goalkeeper that's the problem. I think it's the game that's the problem. I don't think it'll matter what goalkeeper I bring in. I could bring in bloody All Black. I've got All Black on my Man United career mode. And he lets in stupid goals. Right, the majority of the time he does save them, but there's occasions where he's letting a dumb goal or two. And over it comes. Well, the clearance. He's headed away just about. Marin just get it gone. Not there where the fucking players are. Could be dangerous. And the challenge halts them in the Great by Marin again. Can he get there? He's trying to put the pressure on. Oh, he's been done. Luca Bailey gonna have to try and defend this. He does and falls over. Bit of a battle here. Brady gets it. And we can get it away. And Marius Marin, that's an awful touch. I'm not going to get that, am I? Am I? No, I'm not. Fanzio. It's out to Amaral, which is not where I was wanting it to go, but it could widen the attack a little bit. Lees. Loyal Tanzio. Try to get back to Lees, but the runs. I've, I've left it too long, I think, realistically. But it's tight at the top and extremely I've never tried harder to defend when Lishka is in goal. It's like being a very close race for the title, doesn't it? There's nothing to choose between the teams, but can must score! It's straight at him, thank God. Thank God it's straight at him because, uh, like, if I'd gone either side of him, it's a goal. Could have been 1-0 Port Vale, luckily. Lishka gets the save. Lees. Not really a strong enough pass. Why are these, why are these passes so weak? Where's Amaral running? I'm running towards the ball, right? <laughs> Like all these passes just seem to be a bit weak, and I'm not sure why. Now the situation has changed on. in one of the other games. I'm Wilkins there, about kind of in the area. Good. Warrell. It's a great save again. Okay, man. He he might be he might be back in contention. Well, they should be ahead now. Okay, what the Lucas God, dude? I'm putting myself in danger at this point. It's nothing. Nothing. Game's doing. It's just me. What was that? I defended that. Okay, fair enough. I wonder what happened. I don't know. How, well, I do know how well, Rodgers won that. He's better at heading than Bailey, but I don't know how Port Vale are in the lead. <laughs> to be honest with you, Lishka has made one, well, one save that was right at him, and then one pretty decent save from Worrell, and then Rodney's just put that wide. We are on the back burner here. They're pressing us like no tomorrow. Please. The fact that they're pressing us, actually, we can maybe take advantage of that. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game? Mason, well, brav, man. The passages just seem to be too short. The table in terms of goals, and he looks so threatening I don't understand why. He I'm putting power on him. It's just, I don't put too much power on him because it'll go past my players, and it's just it, it, it's a losing game. This game is just a losing game. For the goal that would put them ahead. Bailey's not going to get there. Brady is! No, he's not. That's all right, Lishka. Made it look like it was difficult, but it was probably quite easy. Amaral. Leaves into Mason. Over top to Latanzio to chase. And okay, we go one nil up. With a bit of lag as well to add to the effect. Well, here's the replay. The pass but against the all run of play, they deserve to be leading. They were leading. Is. Struck with power and accuracy, certainly no stopping that. I'm not complaining about it at all. I'm just, like, I'm happy. If this performance could continue, that'd be great. But I just know, I just know, I can predict, I predict these things. Liska's going to let a goal in. There's absolutely no way we keep a clean sheet here. And I want to, Back very much want to, but the defence is slow. And once it gets past the defence, I've got to rely on Lishka, who has been very unreliable this season so far. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Look, at Bailey should get there. Oh, I don't think he'll the ball, but he should get there. Referee, oh, man. Really it's a stupid uh, tackle. It's a yellow card. Tactic. From Malvin Benning. I was just trying to find a way out of there, and Benning has gone for the ball, obviously, but he hasn't got any of it. He just got my legs. Oh, okay, maybe he hasn't gone for the ball. He's gone for murder. It's a young talent, Luca Bailey, trying to get into the football game, and he might want to quit after that tackle. It's not a red by any means, but it is a very, a very stupid tackle. 
something here. I was I was wondering what was happening. I was trying to play. I was pressing A to pass it, and so, uh, like some kind of cutscene somewhere, a, a hidden cutscene by the looks of it, because I didn't see fucking anything change. Mason, Marin, can you Marin? Jesus Christ! You can leave Mason. the fucking donkey to water, but you can't make it drink. That's not what I did. <laughs> Why is there centre mids? Why is my left back in this? Uh, there. Question. Actually, I can play about a left back. It's a great deception from him. Yes, but still a great deception. The fact he's made it. What? That's a direct pass. I pressed A. Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack. I pressed A to give it straight to my striker there. And it's decided, oh, we're going to throw a ball, even though you didn't press through a ball. Amaral's there. Nice. Lee's. Mason's not going to get there, but Laurie Latanzio is, even though he's been fouled. But the game's just not going to register that he's been fouled. Despite the, play, despite the play, didn't get the ball. Long shot. Liska saves. Somehow the keeper got to it. It was a comfortable save. I don't know why he's even shot from there. I mean, actually, it was a very good save. In fact, that the fact that Lishka's saving stuff, I should be happy. I just just be happy. He's goalkeeping. <laughs> I can't be complaining. I'm not going to go. Not having any close options are it. Not very cool. Can someone get on the end of this? Brady gets it away. I don't really want Mason to be the counter attacker here. He's not the fastest, but Loyal Tanzio is, and that's not why. Is the, why are there no like? There's no power to the through balls this year. They've just decided to negate power for through balls. That was for uh, Mason, so why it's locked into Lees, we can tell you. We've got we've got uh, scientists looking all over the country as to why that's locked into fucking Lees, but we still don't know. I knew he was going to make that ball. Position, Luckily it's offside. The chance Brady could have played him on if he'd run any further back, but... Luckily, it's a step off for Port Vale and happiness for us. Luca Bailey into Finley Lucas. Well, when you sit off like Mason this, is right there. Loro Tanzio is right there too. He's in behind the defense here. They've got him scored again. Again. <laughs> against the run of play. Sure but sometimes you need that luck on your side. Loro Tanzio. It's that extra yard of pace that I love about him. Well, Jaden Coates has it as well, but he's not as fast. I think Jaden Coates are on 75 pace, Latangio's 81, I think, last time I checked. They might change now, but uh, that's around the pace they have. Finishing, obviously, is better for Jaden Coates, but uh, Latangio knows that score goal or two as well. I think he's actually equal now with Coates in the top scorers, maybe one behind. Either way, it's 2-0, and thanks to our Aussie frontman for getting both of them. Mason with a very good ball through though for the second one. I can't remember who got the assist for the first one. And Tanji's been giving it. Away. And right, silly me. Silly me. I I mistakenly thought my So two minutes of stopping. Mistakenly thought my left here. mid would um to hang on to it. Right, I don't understand what's going on here. I've defended it twice. He must finish. Oh, that's a fucking that would, that's a brilliant save from Liska, although it is right at him. It's still a, I can't really call it a brilliant save, actually. It's a save from Liska. But that's definitely a FIFA goal, if it would have gone in. Saved by his knee. Because I've, I've handballed it with Wilkins, yes, and I've tackled him with Parker. It's just bounced straight to Conlon. I mean, get his clear in between all at half time. It's clear enough, right? It isn't. Yeah, the game's just going to give them much chance anyway. Someone to play it to. And it goes. It, it, it's just scripted. Like, the two minutes are gone. The ball is out of the area. And it just gives them it anyway. My controller batteries are low. Oh, I should have changed batteries beforehand. Hopefully I don't have the headset thing where it decides to just not work. It's so stupid, man. If it says two minutes of injury time, how are we getting to four? The ball is out of the, the ball isn't even there in the situation. The ball isn't even remotely there. It's out of the box. <laughs> Whatever, I can't, what's the point in complaining? The game sucks. Just have to get used to it. If we're going to stick to this career mode, I'm just going to have to accept the game sucks. 
Well, he's been the standout for his side so far. And there's a the Port Vale goal that we all expected. Well, what a first half he had. I thought he was outstanding. It's a good first half from us in terms of attack, but in terms of the well, actually, at least it's a really good first half as well. But it's just the fact that that goes in when the minutes are done. Right, so I'm going to change the batteries and then we'll go over the stats. Please, controller, don't mess up. Alright, we're back. The headset is doing the thing, sick. I love, I love, yeah, I do what? Technical difficulties, man. Love them. Let's see if I can fix it. So, right, so what I'm going to do, because nothing can go right, I'm going to do the second half, and then, unless it fixes itself, I'll probably end the episode. Not much I can do about it. Like, I don't understand why it does this. <laughs> to be quite honest. But, um... You know, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna unplug my headset, plug it back in again. If it's completely fucked, I'll do a second half of that commentary, and then we'll do another episode straight after. It's probably fucked now. to actually be that bad. But I don't really want people to have this in their ears the whole second half. I don't I don't get it. Help. Right, cool. So anyway I'm gonna read the stats quickly. And then second half, no commentary, and um, I'll have another. I'll start recording another episode straight after this. So we don't deserve this at all by look of stats. Fifty-two to forty-eight possession in favor for them. Eight shots to two. Five point three to zero point seven expected goals. This feels like we're Newport, and they're calling with from last game. But uh, yeah, this this is annoying me now. The headset thing. So I'm gonna unplug my headset. We'll do second half, no commentary. And I'll stop recording another one straight after this. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Will it happen for them? And players waiting in the centre. Nicely cut out. And Burgess in possession. 
And Johnson has it. Making progress. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, many have wondered if they would get it over the line in terms of the deal. They've succeeded, Stuart. Well, certainly a lot of focus on the boy over the last year or two. And he oh, seems Stuart, to they could be in here. Goalkeeper in charge of the situation. But he's gone short with it. Sound piece of goalkeeping. And there's been a change to the scoreline in one of the other games. Alex has details. It's a goal for Bradford City. They're back level. It's one all with 53 minutes play. This could level it. And it is the equaliser. Parity now. And who's to say what's going to happen next? Well, here it is again. The ball over the top is an absolute beauty. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. Here it is now, a substitution. So underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece on this one. Well, a goal to update you on. Let's hear about it from Alex Scott. Yes, it's a goal for Leighton Orient. The score's level again now. Also, just needed the break. Okay, cool. Right, I think we're good with the headset now. Uh, yeah, I don't know how that's gone in. We're, I'm not going to go into details on it because they deserve it, but like still. I put a defender across and it's just not done it. Also, Rodney. I'm not sure if he still should still be on the pitch, but I've been, I've been, what, I've been, what the fuck was that? Was that animation? Turned inside out, apparently. And uh, as well, Lishka on the edge. And the best part is I'll have to cut off the episode because the headset seems to be okay now. So we can just keep going as planned. It is too old though. I'd like to get a winner, but I don't. I know I don't deserve it, so if I don't get it, I won't be surprised. <laughs> At the same time, Laurel Tanjo could be through here with the pace. The hat trick. All the time in the world. <laughs> There's no doubt in my mind he's getting the hat trick there. We've been really undeserving of this lead. Uh, yeah, we'll bring on Coates now. Latangio's done his work. He's got the hat trick. Happy with that from Laurie Latangio. Hat trick. For him. I'm glad I tested Three, my headset, two. like what to come back on next? to commentate again because I I got bored. I got bored of not commentating. <laughs> I tried to concentrate on the game, but it's just there's no point. The game will do what it wants. Doesn't matter. Your tackle will just not let you have it. Although that occasion, it, it did let me have it, so I can't complain too much. Mason. For the update, okay, cool. And yeah, okay, they get the better of the ball. Lee's man. Oh, I didn't want to switch to Lee's in the first place, but I know my set back up position. It might be on for them. It's an interesting shot, but if that found the back of Nate Lishka wouldn't be playing for the rest of the season. If you could see two, he's fine. If you could see more than two, you know what? That wasn't even a bad effort. 
that goes in. That's a banging goal. Conlon inches away. Bring on Nikolai Allo just to shore up the defence a bit. Don't really trust Luca Bailey. It's not that he's done bad, it's just... I want a bit more, you know, defensive stability. Pet coming on for Burgess. Allo coming on for Bailey. Just one game this season, I might have an actual low scoring game, but until that day, we're enjoying the high scores. In fact, actually the high scoring ones are more entertaining really, aren't they? So, shouldn't really complain. Nikolai Allo making the run on his own because Marin doesn't want to. Now he does. And it's too late. It's also a fresh Nikolai Allo as well, so we could make those right back runs if we wanted to. Possibilities inside the box. Looking to a tackle, but of course, I don't get to keep the ball. Nice by Morale. Is it a throw in or a free kick? Couldn't really tell there because the fans were complaining. <laughs> it is a throw. Wilkins. Played it to Mason. Okay. Coates. Out to Marin, perhaps. Yeah. Marine. Mason. Into Mason. Coates. It's far too far from him, right? I'm surprised the keeper didn't come out to get that. It'd be nice to get a fourth, you know, Martin. just to possibly seal it. I wouldn't say definitely seal it. This game has its ways of being a knob. Oh, great vision. And uh, this, this is one of them. I mean, I, the why would you shoot? Like, angle. if Not you're using your brain. Effort, well, you have to from the decision making there. <laughs> I mean, Owl was putting pressure on him, on him anyway, but you still wouldn't shoot from there, would you, realistically? If you're using your brain. Oh, I forgot it was a Manchester Derby this afternoon. I don't know when that kicks off. I might have to... If it's an early kickoff, I might have to go early. And they're making a change. When does it kick off? It might not be to three, which is fine. 12.30. It's the early kickoff. Uh, might, have end, might have to end the uh, episode early here, lads. <laughs> oh, no seriousness. I'll play till I well, can be bothered not playing anymore. Of the other matches. Over to Alex Scott. I'll probably get battered by City anyway, but if I want to watch that. Amaral over the top. He just booted it straight at Kovalin there. I don't know why that extra touch was so big though as well from Amaral. Didn't, I don't think I did that. I should have I should have fully squared it. I'm so sorry to I think it was Jaden Coates. That should have been squared. I'm an idiot. Right, we're gonna go defensive now because I don't trust this game. I I trust I trust us in terms of attack, I don't trust us in terms of defence. Right, uh, not ultra, just normal defensive. Come in, Nikolai. The short Going option short. and the cross. And the cross into the middle. Ronan Brady, what bloody touch was that? I don't want him chasing this as well, he's the centre back. Harris Marin can't get across. And unfortunately, we did have to cut Alex off there. Oh, again, we've got, well, we're back enough, I think. Side in that game, and the lead as things stand is 2 0. That's got to be, yep. I was going to say it's got to be Lishka, isn't it? Is. Like Out to Nikolai Allo. The right back run now. Jay Mason, oh, one more on time morale. I think he might have been offside just marginally. Bastard, man. Find out it was offside anyway. Their, their defend, yeah, oh, well, okay, it wasn't marginal at all. Their defender's movement there was brilliant to play Amaral offside. But at the end of the day, man, like, you know, I don't know where I was going with that one. I wonder if I should have kept Laurel Tanzi on, see how many he could have got, but Spot Mason, man. The nah, they're going to get so much injury time as well. See what I mean? Like, I just, I don't get it. I don't know where these six minutes have come from, to be honest. Billy Lucas for the fourth. 
Okay, never mind, I'm happy, we've sealed it. Finley Lucas, the captain, makes sure we're taking the three points here from Vale Park. Not a single amount of complaining will be done, except for the two goals we conceded. But even then, not a single amount of complaining will be done, I'm happy with that. If Lishka manages to hold on for this last four minutes without conceding, I'll give him another start. So the current scoreline, 4-2. That's what's on for man here. Moving forward I thought he jumped off the pitch then, he didn't. In the not, for, not for my Lishka, nice, nice. Is there a way we can get a fifth? That we don't deserve... Well, far from the ideal yeah. pass, you've got worries. to say. Oh, a lovely ball. No worries, no worries. Defending. No worries, Amaral. Or Liska, I'm kicking it off the pitch just so you can keep your place. That, the <laughs> They're not getting all the extra time in the world they want because I'm booting it off the pitch. The visitors. Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield, and they created chances as well. It was a great performance. Patrick from Latanzio, goal from Lucas to seal it. 4-2 win against Port Vale. Happy with that. And the headset issue decided to fix itself so I can continue. Big performance, what we needed. <laughs> I mean, undeserved, but <laughs> blame their goalkeeper. Mine was actually quite good today. 51 to 49 in terms of possession, that's the only stat really in our favour. <laughs> 12 shots to 6. Um, for their favour, 6.5 to 3 expected goals and yeah, some fouls by them. We got the advantage of fouls because, or free kicks even, because they were just fouling all over the place. Man of the match goes to Laura Latanzio, who the fuck else? Hat trick from him today, big performance. The strikers are performing. I, I kind of want to switch to, stu uh, to two strikers, but I also kind of don't as well. Um, the Man United lineups have been confirmed, I swear if he's starting McTominay and Fred. Anyway, I'll take a look at that in a minute. We'll just drink in these results here. So 9.7 for Laura Tanzio, man of the match. Roman Lishka, good performance from him. He did let in two, but it's good performance otherwise. Eight rating for him. Finley Lucas, one goal and an assist with a 7.8 rating. Jay Mason, 7.6 rating with a two assists. And Callum Lees with one assist, getting 7.1. Luca Bailey, I feel like, did better than what the game has credited him with here. And... Um, yeah, centre backs there were not great. Brady, best out of two. I've forgot to check the Port Vale ratings. But uh, anyway, man of the match for them, Devante Rodney. Two goals for him, and possibly sending off could have been in the uh, in the books there. He did go for the back of me just after half time, but the ref saw it was only yellow. Walker with a 7.3 rating and an assist, and then Proctor with a 7.2 rating and an assist. Everybody else, not too great on the day for Port Vale. But I don't care because we got a win. Let's take a look at what the My Night lineup is. While well, this interview is going on, lineups available. Um. Okay. Great win, congratulations. Yeah, Laura Tanzio. We are starting with Tom and Fred. Oh, Tanzio, oh, fine, whatever. We'll go for the five at the back again. Seems, that seems to be our formation at the moment. De Gea, Luke Shaw, Bai, Lindelof, Maguire, uh, Wapasaka, Fred McTominay, Bruno, Greenwood, and Ronaldo. We'll see how it goes. We want to just commit to their job. I kind of want to watch the match, but I kind of know we're going to get battered too. Up against Port Vale again, your team was able to turn around, uh, turn things around pretty spectacularly. A great win. What did you do differently? Uh, we pride ourselves on our resilience. And Lishka actually outperformed what I thought he would. 
I'm happy for that. It gives them another start in the next game, which I can't remember who we're against. I want to say Oldham. Vuksic transfer offer. He's not going anywhere. The backup centre back is remaining for now. Depending on his growth, we'll see what happens with him. Hopefully, he grows well though. Training day and then transfer deadline day. Will we get any? There's an office message here. Loan offer for Alan Kane. What we've been looking for here? Just a short term deal. Out to Saarbrücken. I don't know where that is. I want to say Denmark, but I'm probably way off. It's actually, it probably won't be. It, actually, well, I'm going to say Denmark. It'll probably be like a German second tier or third tier team. Luis Alberto going to Man United, as you can see there. We'll take a look at the full deadline day. Um, what do you call it? Full deadline day transfers in a second. McNulty has had an approach made for him. I didn't even read the email. I don't know why I just clicked off. I don't really care about him, but... Uh, Stevenage. I'm actually going to take a quick look at the contracts because that's that. Thank you for the game for reminding me there. Is there anyone else I want to keep on, or do I not really care? And the heart can go. Alan Gallagher's no worries right now because he's underage. Harrison Whitehouse, I'm not even used him. He can go. Jamie Maloney under 23. Adam Kemp can go. Neon Saba. Could probably go, but I might re-sign him. Uh, Amaral is only 21 anyway, but I am going to um, do a contract negotiation with him. He is going to be rotation. I say that, he's actually starting most games, but... Uh, Three-year extension? I don't think it's going to be that long, mate. We'll put it to two years. Wage, you're going to have the same. I don't think you have any problems with that, will you? I oh, won't. Sick. Alright, easy easy contract there for Amaral. I don't think anyone else I'm really too fussed about that's over the age of 23. I mean, Amaral isn't over the age of 23. McNulty, honestly, could probably go, and I wouldn't miss him. Neon Saba is one I'm, uh, I'm not sure about yet. Adam Kemp can go. Yeah, these are all... Yeah. Not really, not really fussed to keep him, to be honest. They're not really too great. Amaral is the only one I was really worried about. If McNulty wants to go to Stevenage... Yep. I need to make you aware of that. Okay, yeah, great, Chief Executive. Your grammar is wonderful. Um, but yeah, James McNulty going to Stevenage, that's fine. Uh, Sarbrook and are happy with what I've said for Alan Kane. But will Alan Kane be happy going to Sarbrook and We shall see. I'm happy to give him a chance out on loan because he doesn't really perform much here. We're not, like I said, we're not going to be making any moves ourselves. But we are about to have a Youth Academy report once uh, deadline day ends. So I'm hoping um, we get something. I think that's McNulty. Or not McNulty, that's Kane. That's us being told Kane has gone out on loan. Decent. Hopefully you can find a bit of form there. We'll see. Anything else before the end of the deadline day? Yeah, Taylor Rowland. If you can wrap it up in time, Waterford, have him. We've got a couple of good centre backs coming through. We've got uh, Vuksic and then we've got Susak in the Youth Academy who will eventually come up. I hope his potential stays that way. Uh, Callum Lee's transfer offer? Absolutely not. We're going to get one more season out of him at least, I think. Unless we get some cracking centre mids on the free agents. Or for the Youth Academy. And, uh... It's a bit late now, but... Kovacevic, loan offer. Yeah. Down for him to go out on loan. I don't think he'll accept it. But uh, Dorovic, not going anywhere. Here's our backup. And, uh, we've got one hour left, so let's just go through the teams quickly. Start at the start. Barrow, no business. Bradford, no business. Bristol Rovers, no business. There won't be a lot of business, to be honest. A lot of uh, clubs don't do business in League, one, uh, League 2 in January. McNamee coming in for Crawley. McNulty going out from us. He's on a free to Stevenage. External business. Forest Green, no business. 
Harrogate getting a pre-contract player called Smith. Hartlepool, no business. Leighton Orient, no business. Mansfield, no business. Kraus getting a pre-contract deal for Newport. Hoskins going out for 860k. I wonder where he's gone. I'm not going to look. I'm not going out of my way to look, but I'm quite a bit of money for Northampton there. Oldham, no business. Port Vale, there's Smith. He's gone from Port Vale to Harrogate, I believe. Um, is that Rochdale? No business. Salford, no business. McNulty is going in for Stevenage. That's fine. Honestly, Stevenage, you can have him. <laughs> Probably just bench him anyway because he's not that good. Sutton, no business. Brayford going in uh, to Swindon on a pre-contract. Tranmere, no business. And Walsall, no business. So yeah, not a lot of business going around. We shall sim up to the next game. And then we'll go through the biggest January deals. Quite a lot of emails coming through here. U Squad monthly report. See how they're all doing in here. Oh, mm. <laughs> well. Milosevic still looks brilliant. Harry Marshall could be on for something. Pavlovich. Susak, I'm not really sure about. We're going to keep them all because they're not awful potentials. Like I said, they're closing in. Some of them are like closing in on potentials of what they could be. They could go up to 80. So I'll keep them in 100%. But a couple of these are a little upsetting, to be honest. Pavlovich is probably the main one I'm not very happy about. I'm assuming Milosevic will be called up soon. So when he asks to be called up, we'll call him up. Monthly scout update. Let's take a look. From Croatia, we've got Andrei Matic, who looks like rubbish. We've got Davor Bogdanovic, who we're actually going to sign on, despite his potential not being brilliant. His overall could be okay. We've now got Andrei Nikolic, another goalkeeper. The Croatian goalkeepers, man. <laughs> Insane. And then we've got uh, Goran Tabak, who could be the man of my dreams. It's a very good scout report from Croatia. We've got Luka Buckley from England, who's not great. And we've also got Luke Gardner, who... Is another goalkeeper. Overall, not great. Potential could be something, though. So we'll sign him on. Lishka has received a transfer offer from Gornik Zabzi. Sounds Polish. Either way, he's not going. He's proven himself a bit more. And if he could continue to prove himself, he might get a number one jersey back. Transfer window's closed. The rolling talks broke down because he didn't want to go to Waterford. Anyway, onwards to our next game. We're up in 17th after that win against Port Vale. And they're down below us now. The next game is Oldham and it won't be easy by any means. League 2 player of the month. No nominees for us, I notice. Again. I don't know how. Because Mason and Laura Tanzio, and especially actually Jaden Coates, have been popping off. We've got Dawson from Exeter, Jay from Exeter and Sweeney from Exeter. And then we've got Cook from Bradford. So Exeter seemed to have had a good month. And it was uh, the Bradford player that got it. No! <laughs> I've clicked the wrong tab. But Bradford City player Callum Cook gets the Player of the Month award for January. i got to say, Jin Coates deserved to be in the conversation, but bias there, maybe. Save that over for now. Getting a party invite from Fred. But I am doing cream mode, so you'll have to wait. So let's see what we got then in the uh, terms of the highest deals. Now you can see from us, we didn't really make any incomings. There's a couple of outgoings, quite a few outgoings actually. Tyler Field going to Sligo Rovers. Jinton Saunders going to Derry City on loan for the rest of the season. Uh, What's his first name? Dragolin? Yeah, Dragolin. Or Dragutin. Is it Dragutin? Is there a line through the L or is that a T? My eyesight is... I think it's Dragutin, actually. Kovacic. Anyway, Kovacic is out on loan to go ahead Eagles for the rest of the season. Uh, James McNulty going to Stevenage for a permanent deal in the summer. And uh, Alan Kane out to Sarbrook on loan. But in terms of the big clubs, just look at the January ones rather than all of them. So I'm just keeping an eye on the dates here. We've got Matthias Ginter, who's gone from Mönchengladbach to PSG, 56.1 million. Anyone else? Not really a lot of big manoeuvres. Luis Alberto, we saw that. He's gone from Lazio, or Latium as they are now called because of licensing. Um, he's gone from Lazio to Man United, 52 million. 
Stefan de Vrij going from Inter to Manchester United for 47.3 million. If you've not noticed what I'm doing, by the way, anything after August will count as moving in the January transfer window. So that's why I'm reading September, October and all that. Campania has gone from Levante to Munchen Gladbach for 36 million. Nicolas Pepe, or Nicola Pepe, I apologise, has gone from Arsenal to Villarreal for 34.4 million. And we've also got uh, Maxi Gomez going from Valencia to Arsenal for 33.9 million. Costas Manolas moving from Napoli to Villarreal for 33.8 million. Villarreal doing their team up a little bit. I wonder if Gomez was a replacement for Pepe and they're playing wide. I don't know. Uh, Gravenberg, he's going to be a brilliant player. We might sign him later on in the career mode, depending on his growth. Depending on our growth as well. Alexander Zinchenko going from Manchester City to Piemonte Calcio or Juventus for 32.2 million. Luis Muriel going from Atalanta to Bilbao for 31.9 million. I don't really know if he's a Basque player, but I'm not going to get into it. Got Walt Weghorst from Wolfsburg, obviously he's from the Netherlands as well. I remember seeing him in the uh, Euros. He's gone to Madrid City for 31 million. They needed a striker, but I'm not sure if he was the one that they really needed. Anyone else of big news? Cabral gone from Sporting to Inter for 30.5. Kramerich has gone from Hoffenheim to Milan for 30.5. Casper Dolberg gone from Nice to Hoffenheim for 30.4. Alan Samaxi Man, oh, that's July, never mind. But he's actually, I can't, still can't believe he's got Barcelona. Uh, Le Normand has gone from Sociedad to Munch Gladbach, 29.3. Anyone else, really? Is that is that Jay Rodriguez? The Burnley striker, right? Oh, no, Jonathan Rodriguez, never mind. Uh, he's gone from Cruz Azul to Crystal Palace. I should have known because we're only halfway into the first season. 27.7 million for him. Turam from Munchen Gladbach to Benfica for 27.5 million. Kakaret from Lyon to Valencia for 27.4 million. And that, that is your lot. So the biggest transfer deal of season one altogether was the man, the myth, the legend, Chiro Immobile from Lazio to Real Madrid. Now, I should be looking for players on a pre-contract, really, um, for the next season. But we're in League 2, so even if they are half-decent players, they won't sign for us. So I'm not really sure what to do. Why is everyone? I Why is there so many Irish, man? We are looking for a centre-back, though. I think we'll just stick with what we've got till the end of the season and then make moves in Season 2. Anyone's got any ideas for players I could sign? I'm more than welcome to leave them in the comments. We are working with a budget of 702k with a 9k wage budget. I could probably manoeuvre that wage budget a bit, so we got to about 750k. I'll just take a look. Yeah, do that. Probably about 750k. So if anyone has any ideas on who I could sign, 750k. They won't come in now, obviously, because we're in February, but for next season, if you get on the pre-contract, or even just make an offer for people, We'll see. They'll sign for us in the summer and we'll have them for season two. So, any ideas? More than welcome to leave them in the comments or in the chat if you're watching live. What's up, Sobel? Welcome to the stream. I haven't seen you in a while. Well, to be fair, I don't really stream as much as I used to. I've only recently come back to streaming properly with this career mode. Anyway, all them up next. They're in the playoff spots. We are not. <laughs> Bit mildly. Loyal Tanzio taking back top score. It's going to be a battle between him and Coates, and I'm going to make the battle more intense because I'm going to start Coates this game. And we'll also give Lishka another attempt and goal because he didn't do too badly. That being said, I don't know if we're going to get the same result from him. Position has gone up a little bit, actually. Fair enough. He's he's got a, he's got a four star weak foot as a goalkeeper. That's quite interesting. Uh, I'm good. I'm doing good. I've I passed my driving test yesterday, which is a big step. I'm happy with that. And um, yeah, everything's going well right now. How are you doing, Mister Solbo? They're going for a five two three, and that's a pain in the arse because. I mean, everyone in League Two more or less plays five at the back at this point. I shouldn't really complain about it because it just seems to be a. 
It just seems to be a thing now. So we've got Leash out in goal, Wilkins and Allo as the full backs, Park and Brady as the centre backs, Lees and Lucas as the centre midfielders, Amaral, Mason and Marion as the attacking midfielders. I really wish we could get someone a little bit better on that left hand side. Amaral's good, but I just I think we need someone with a little bit more quality. Um and Jim Coates up top. Him and Laurie Latanzio racing for the golden boot despite us being down in 17th. Could be an interesting race. We'll see who wins it. But uh, let's manoeuvre in to this game. Uh, I'm good, thanks. Well, it's good to hear you're good, man. Good to hear it indeed. My controller just... I don't know why. I didn't do anything. Mason with the goal. Okay, right. Again. Miss with the goal. Yeah, 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 oh, top bins. Power on that as well. Bit of lag there, I apologise for that. Not as much I can do about it, but I still apologise. You know, really so, Collingworth versus so Oldham Athletic here in the third game. I'm not Ray, sure if I'm going to do a fourth game analysis, because Stuart Manchester Watson. Derby is on in 40 minutes. What do you anticipate so we shall Stuart? see on whether I'm going to do that methods, another game or whether I'm just going to watch us get battered by Man City. Thank you. It, it took a lot of attempts. I'm not going to give the exact number, but it took a lot of attempts. And finally got it yesterday. It's about damn time. So there is the squad for this game. Wondering if maybe I should have started Laura Latanzio, but... We haven't done. I was considering putting Vuksic in the defence as well as a centre back, but we haven't done that. We've just kept Parker and Brady, the usual suspect. And introducing the visitors lineup today. Now, all of them don't have a bad team by any means. I don't remember what the last score was. I think they just edged us. Uh, they just beat us last time. Could be wrong, but I don't fully remember. So what I'm hoping for is a win here for ourselves. Because if we did lose to them, it'll be revenge. And if we didn't lose to them and we beat them, we've got a double over a possible promotion contender, which is big manoeuvres for us. So let's see how this goes, with a bit of lag, a bit of bad weather outside, so that's probably why it's lagging. It's absolutely poor. Well, actually, the rain stopped, it's just really windy. But, uh, yeah, not great weather. So it probably means here. a bit of lag, and I apologise. There's going to be lag in every episode, though. I'm just going to have to get used to it, or stop watching the series, I guess. I don't know what to tell you. Mason to Lucas. So what's Marin? I haven't really got a lot on. Cut it back a little bit to Allo. Lucas. Lees now. Back to Lucas. It's so defensive already. We're just starting, man. Come on, relax a bit. Look, they're pressing me like. Goodness knows Mason. what. I don't really. I can't, I'm not really sure what meant to do here. I just try to play it around to try to get an opening. Lucas. Mastery of the passing game. Come through to Mason. Attempts to take a shot on, but I didn't. I maybe should have. Marin in a bit of space. Well, news of a goal in one of the other matches. That wasn't a penalty. There's no, there's no penalty there. <laughs> My fans are very biased, and I appreciate that, but there's no penalty. <laughs> we tried to pass it around as long as I could, try to get an opening. I probably should have shot it with Mason a couple of touches ago, but I didn't watch him counter and score. With no problem. We don't need to have the worst defensive teams thing up. There's no need for that. We've, got, we've also got the most goals. We don't want to talk about that, do you? Yeah, porous, disorganised, shambolic, just some of the words that spring to mind. They can't There's no need for it. There's no need for that, like, rudeness as well. Uh, we should be what's his name? Stuart Robson. There's no need for it. Like, Is it going to end up being productive for them? Okay, maybe there's a bit of need for it. I don't... Don't know what the centre-backs are doing there. Couldn't tell you. I committed with one. I don't know what the I was doing. Alo tried to come across. Couldn't. And um, one nil down. Now remember, Lishka can see more than two. He's dropped. Just 
seven goals in 25 matches. So at least it's not a guy who's his, his first. It's his first goal after not scoring all season, which is fine. So it's someone who actually here. can play football. Nikolai Alo. I want to do a dart and run with him, but I can't really against the five at the back. Pain in the noggin, to be honest. I'm really wishing I shot that with Mason now when I could have. In fact, I'd gone in, it would have been a chance. Well, it's one pass after another. But this is a bloody masterminding defence performance by Oldham. That was for Lucas, who's right next to me, but it's aimed somewhere up there for a reason. I get bodied and then he just suddenly, I... Here we go again. Well, the counter chance looks very real. No point in me having possession if I can't do anything with it, is there really? But strong play here on the shield in front. She put it back in there. He's not. Okay. And a creative look about this. Nice Splendid from Parker. Good interception. The brilliant tackle from Lees, but we don't get the ball out of it because you know we tackled. So how it goes. I think I'm only going to do this last game because I do want to watch the Manchester Derby. Whether we're going to lose, I do want to watch it. So, <laughs> It's probably going to go about two hours this episode anyway, even though it's only three games just because of this stuff. Promising possession. Brilliant tackle by Brady. A lot of lag right now. Not much I can do about it. I apologise if it's really bad. Please. Coats to Mason. Moving the ball nicely. Trying to He's such a bloody. I, I just. Why does the. Why does the touch by any of my Can players just slow the, the world right? down? It feels like the world is rotating slower. I regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. That's not Nikolai Allo, is it? Did he move to centre mid? I realise. He's in here. The reason I say that is because I passed to Nikolai Allo and it didn't go to him, but Hallam hoping butchered that. That should be a goal. <laughs> that should be 2-0. I don't know if it's because I put the pressure on with Lishko or just because he's a bad striker, but it remains 1-0 to them still, obviously, but... Could have been 2. Luckily it isn't. Makes midfield darting runs because nobody seems to be in space ever. Coates. Jaden Coates. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options. He seems to tackle me no problem they every time. Just when they look menacing. Nice by Wilkins. I don't know what the game has done with me. I don't know what the game's done with my player there. I didn't do that. I didn't, I didn't want to turn back into him. Why would I want to? Right. Well, the visitors, as you can see, haven't enjoyed the majority of possession, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. Mm. I expect more of the same. I'd love to counter-attack in football, but so the game doesn't let you in this fight back, man. Oh, and it's, it's oh, fucking it's Dalton Wilkins, man. Well, I'm, I'm actually that. considering getting a new left-back, or maybe just putting Arlo Bourne there. He's played Hallam Hope on side when there's absolutely no need to, and if that had gone in for a second, Wilkins would have been fully at fault. It's just annoying, really, when, like, you can't control whether he's been play <laughs> played onside or not. They're going to go close here. For the short offside. He's actually not offside because bloody Callum Lee's on the line, I'm pretty sure. Oh, right it's the, the weakest corner. shot. The Super save's shot. actually stronger than what the shot was. And a good tackle. And Hold on to the end. ball, man! Well, You're doing well. You're actually performing quite well in goal. But the saves are good and everything. Well, but just, just hold on to it. Business. There's no need to fucking but hit it. About like a volleyball, mate. At the other end. Not all that convincing defensively. I love how he can even do a bad, bad clearance and just go straight to the player still. Whelan. Taking off the pitch the by the right back of Oldham. We get a throw in. I'm not expecting to win this game, if I'm being honest with you. They are promotion contenders. I'm not expecting to win against most promotion contenders, to be honest. But same time, I feel like we had the possession to create something. We just can't create anything because five at the back so annoying to play against. Cheers, Alex. Not really the point in complaining about it because most League Two teams at the back are used to it. I should be used to it by now. The amount of times I've played. Jay Mason should outpace Maguire here. 
because he should, he doesn't. Bodger Mason, bit of individual brilliance. Fuck me, man. It's a good save. I think it was actually... No, it was curling in. It's a good save. I thought it might be curling wide, but it wasn't. Mason, short to court. It's, I don't know why it's decided to have me control the wrong player who wasn't near the ball there, but it has decided to do that. Watch this counter attack go to 2-0 for them. Mm. Brilliant by Tom Parker. Am I going to get a chance here? Am I fuck? Of course, he blows it straight away when I've got the ball. Like, bugger off, man. If that was Oldham, they'd get the chance. 1-0 down. Should be more, but obviously we should have a goal as well, so... I don't know. It's an interesting game. Keller done with the goal for Oldham. Those are the results from around the grounds. Every other... Like, our result looks normal as well. But a lot of nil-nils going on. Match fact, take a look at the stats at half time. Okay, fair enough. 52 to 48 in terms of possession. It's the only stats in our favour. There are five shots to our one. The one shot there was Mason at the end of the half. 3.2 expected goals to 0 0.6 in their favour. Passes have been similar. We've had more tackles, but they've won more tackles. They've won every tackle. Okay, right. <laughs> Let's just take this in a minute. They've won every tackle they made. How do I not get that? We'll never know. Whatever. Second half. Let's try. And scrape it back in our favour. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far. As Big men need the Laurie Latanzio on. Just outpaced this fight at the back. Whelan with it. Bowden. Whelan. I've realised now it's not a difficulty. It's a um, well, problem. The goal update for us to know about. It's the fact that everyone on my team is so low rated. This is a struggle, United. anyway. It was a low driven cross and he was never going to miss Difficulty is perfect, to be honest. Brady, good block. It was for Finley Lucas, but it, it's not gone to Finley Lucas because, of course, I don't know. Really a bit of play, but I think Lish, I think Lish just saved it. He's celebrating like he saved it. Honestly, we'd have bounced off the post and gone in, though, my luck. So fair play to Lishka for making that save at the near post. Corner for Oldham. Are they going to go short with it? Of course they are. Not a short corner here. Going to the edge. Whelan. Interesting. Coates takes advantage of that. This might be ideal for the counter. Could take advantage of the counter attack here. here. The is him in the face. That's a brilliant counter. Oh, <laughs> I don't know how it's not gone in. It's wonderful counter-attacking play by Jaden Coates. He's gone the whole way and somehow... Why has it gone that way? I've aimed for the bottom right. It's gone straight out the goalkeeper despite the fact it didn't aim straight out the goalkeeper. That's wonderful. Now it's our corner and they might counter-attack us. Mason off to Coates. Oh, it's headed away. Finley Lucas is going to chase this along with Magahi who's going to get there first because of course he is. But Lucas with the pressure, gets the ball back. Off to Alo. Still on for us here. Please. Into court. He's covered by men. It wasn't meant to sound like, like that, but there's just a lot of men on him. Okay, right. Might have my case. Bahambola. Now counting for all of them. He's got the pace, but does he have the ball in the middle? He does. Offside. Not offside? Probably Wilkins playing him on, to be honest. It is Wilkins playing him on. Possibly could have been, or maybe should have been 2-0. Hallam hope not having a great game up front. Speaking of up front, we're going to make our first change. Coates hasn't been the man that I want him to be. He missed that shot. I don't know how I've missed that. I, don't, I can't blame him for that. I've actually... Aimed it bottom right, and the game has decided. Has 
But anyway, we need a bit of pace, a bit of something up front. Hope's coming up as well for Darnley. I recognise that name because he was a Man United Academy player. Never actually played, I don't think, in the red shirt, but... He was an academy player. Wilkins to Parker. Out to Amaral. Lee. That was for Lucas, but Mason worked too. Now Laura Latanzio could be sent for immediately as it comes on. Will he get a goal? Laura Latanzio, it's saved again. Luke Weiler having a good given the goal for Oldham. But almost immediate impact from the Aussie. He should beat the keeper from that sort of distance. I know at half time we weren't really in this game, but I fully think we deserve to be now. The amount of effort we're putting into getting the equalise and hopefully a winner a down the line, but we'll see. Latanzio, that who? Who is that in for? I hope it wasn't in for Nicolaiello because he was running away. Well, there might well be scope for them to counter attack here. Wilkins intercepts that, that awful pass. I don't know what the pass the idea moment. was there. Lucas, Mason, back to Lucas, into Marius Marin perhaps. Oh, what the fuck touch was that, man? Lee's intercepts. I'm not going to get the luck of the bounce because, like, I don't ever. Leave 22 if I'm right. Marin gets in the way, but of course... It's just, um, yeah, that's fine, Joe, that's fine. Alex, thank you very much. Well, that's wonderful attacking play. A chance to whip it in. Try to switch to my other centre back so I can, you know, mark the man. But apparently we're not allowed to do that. Brady with a block for an older call. I'm not going to make a sub. I'm going to keep Lee's on. It's an interesting game because it's actually quite low scoring, but also it should be high scoring with the amount of chances both teams have had. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And there it is! A two goal cushion now. Well, there you go. And they just need to keep the concentration. Shock horror. They've got a goal. Who come in? All the good half. And they go and score. Uh, but That's just to help proceedings. Well area, I want to rant, but my physical in. internet connection won't let me. My guy, he's been given too much space. It's a very good header. I don't know why Brady hasn't jumped in front of him. I couldn't tell you. What I do know is it's 2-0. Like I said, Oldham in the lead. The better team, to be honest. Not in terms of this game. It's been quite equal, in my opinion, but in terms of the league table. Now, I want to have someone to pass through there with Amaral, but I guess we're just not moving. I guess we're just not moving. Moving? Nah, not for me, mate. And space here on the flank. We don't do moves. We don't make moves in this team. We just make fucking standing still statues. And can they make one of these passes count? Really Great block ball. by Arlo. I think we're just going to have to damage limitation. I don't think we're going to get anything out of this game. Now they have turned it on. And if they get McGahee on this, it's going to be a fucking 3 to lead. Substitution time as is here. Batashe. Probably pronounced that completely wrong. Come for Bolden. 15 minutes to play in this one. We're going to go short with it. Either that or they're baiting me out. The no, they're actually going short with it. Preferred. Mason's been done. And the cross goes Our best in. player has been done. Lucas gets the ball though. Well, Through to Callum good. Lees. Latanzio wants to make that run. Desperate to make that run. But it won't lock on for him. And it won't it like... It just don't lock on to it then, mate. Well, the attack looks promising. How about the cross? How about the cross? How about Bahambal who just dribbles it out of play for no reason? Fine with me. Amaral to Lees. I need Amaral back, really, but he's not in the position for me to... like. He's not making a run because he's back there. Latanzio. If we can get a goal here, it's on for us. Are you shocked? Are you shocked? The man, the myth, the legend, coming in to bail us out. 
He hasn't fully bailed us out, mind. We still have to get the other goal. Well, here you can see it again. Good but we have got one back. Great strength and a composed Deserved, under pressure. That's in my opinion. I'm biased, though. But I still think we've had enough chances now to be deserving of a goal. Loyal Tanji, he's got to be near 20 now, right? 19 goals. Marksman. He's a great signing. I, I'm glad I brought him in. And time for the change now. Whelan coming off. For number four. Didn't come up with a name, so I don't know who number four is. We'll see you in the top left in a minute. Well underway again. It's a narrow 2 1 lead as things stand. And out for a throw in. Just misfiring with the pass. Apparently Cissé it's come on. We're not going to see the fucking top left because it won't show us. Oh, there we go. Cissé. Yep. Thank you, Amaral. Making some space there. Please. Please. Mason. Oh. That would have been a nice little ball. Oh. Comes I, I want to try to get a long shot off there with Mason, though, if I'm honest. After the uh, initial ball to Laurie didn't work Breaking out. You've got to be fucking me. You've actually got to be like having sex with me. Parker saving um, our goalkeeper there Good from being dropped. The Lucas, the, the block. Would it bounce to me? Of course not. Not get too silly now. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. And there goes the dropping of Lishka again. Not much I can do when I'm pressing tackle and the tackle isn't tackling. Is it really? Oldham probably deserve it. Still annoyed though. He's got such quick feet, hasn't he? It's a Defender's right there. What a good goal Brady is. just dances around him. Liska should be doing better as well. Substitute CC comes on. Bags for Oldham. Probably his first goal of the season. Wouldn't be surprised. Six minutes of added time. G Willikers, man. Good technique displayed. Iris Marin to Laurel Tanzio. Imagine. Imagine if we make a comeback in the injury time. There's one. Who is surprised that he has got his 20th now? Popping off a little bit. Now, we may have enough time to pull something out of the bag here. Well, here's the replay. I doubt it. it was a I highly finish, doubt it. The at his near post but we may have enough time. Better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. Near post finish from Laurie Latanzio was what was needed. And it's what has occurred. Not long left now. They might just pass it back, to be honest, and well, just hold on. But we're going to press him. Ultra attacking. Lees. Loyal Tanzio to Jay Mason. Need options here, lads, if you want to make this attack work. Lucas has been fouled. Loyal Tanzio. Yep, we're pulling back for the foul. That's fine. Just stupid tackle from Cissé, but... And so it's a tactical foul, I think, there from all them. Opting for the lenient approach, the referee, rather than cautioning him. Caught the back of his leg. Not yellow worthy, but stupid from him. Oh, well, actually, kind of smart at the same time. Tactical foul does work for them. Parker and going Belize. short with it. Loyal Tanzio. Amaral. What's the point in you? If a defender's moving forward, you move back so you're not offside, you stupid prick, man. Oh, we've lost because of Latanzio. Not Latanzio. Amaral. Latanzio, if anything, has tried to save us again. Are we going to get another chance out of this? No, we just kicked and off the pitch. What a knob. 
It's gone the wrong way as far as Fucking the my god, man. Well, that wasn't a surprise, Defending was just doesn't That's go for me. It doesn't. It just doesn't happen for me. It doesn't matter how well they played going forward. If they defend like that, even though I defend well, games. it just we just still lose. I mean, granted, I didn't defend well that game. I'm not gonna lie and pretend I did. I don't know how many more times I can have. I can try and have Laura Latanzio bail us out. We need to be winning games and not letting them score. But it just the defense is rubbish. The keeper is rubbish. The game is rubbish. To be fair, actually, so it's just all rubbish. Their keeper was good. Stopped us quite a bit. 51 to 49 in terms of possession for all them. 95 shots. 5.1 expected goals to 3. They did deserve it, but I'm still kind of annoyed. I'm just annoyed whenever I lose, to be honest. But it's just football in a nutshell. Man of the match goes to Laura Latanzio. Who else? He's trying to save us from the from the depths of defeat, but couldn't manage. Two goals for him. Assists for Jay Mason and a 6.9 rate. And then the other assist came from Marius Marin, who got a 6.4. For them, man of the match for them was Kaylor Dunn, their first goal scored by him. Alan Hope with a 7.4 and an assist. Bahambala with a 7.4 and an assist. Magahi with the goal from centre back, 7.2 rating for him. And CC ended up getting the winner, 6.6 .6 for him as well. I, just, defending just seems to be a myth to my team. What's worse is Bradford City won their game. I think if they're performing rubbish, Bradford, I kind of want to finish above them this season. But if they're performing well, then probably won't happen. Bradford Forest for Loyal Tanzio. Yeah, I know. He's doing well. Just the rest of the team suck, man. Pain in the arse. I got a late goal back, it was too late. Honestly, yeah, we were always chasing the game. Pain in the arse. I'm not going to drop Lishka. I know I was just. I was going to say. Well, I was saying I was going to, but he's not been bad. It's not even his fault, it's the defence's fault. I'm going to give an angry answer here. We can't keep making mistakes. Don't care if your morale goes down. We get a win, we go up a few places, we lose, we go down a few places. We're like a yo-yo bloody team in this bottom area. I thought we might be able to string a couple of wins together to perhaps get mid-table. But uh, we can't get a win streak going. And now we're against Walsall. Well, not now, but next. Starting next episode, we'll be against Walsall. They're in the relegation zone. We can't really lose to them, otherwise we might fall down into the relegation zone. Depending on other results. Took a look at the league table at the end of this episode. So, Leighton Orient still top by a point. Exeter and Leighton Orient both just steaming off now into the distance. Um, eight points between second and third. Stevenage in third. They're in the final automatic promotion spots at the moment. Tranmere, Colchester, Bristol Rovers and Oldham occupy those playoff spots. Oldham only there because they beat us, the Bastards. Bradford are in eighth, so fair play to them. So we read down the table, we're down in 19th at the moment. 11 wins, 2 draws, 17 losses. A lot of goals scored, but a lot of goals conceded too. And in the relegation zone, Walsall, who somehow, despite being in the relegation zone, have a positive goal difference. And Swindon Town. So we're 6 points away from the bottom, 4 points away from relegation. But we need to be getting some results, uh, stringing some results together, trying to get a win run like win streak going maybe it'll happen maybe it won't but uh that's just the way it is what are the times you're kind of popping off a bit trying to escape the other golden boot contenders 20 goals for him 17 for Coates 13 for Mason who hasn't scored in a long while to be honest falling off since the start of the season a little bit in terms of goal scoring but he's popping up for assists instead 19 assists for him 15 for Lees 12 for Lucas who else is in there Coates with six anyone else 
We've got Marin and Loyal Tangio on five. We've got Amaral on five as well. Clean sheets, we've only got one, and that was from uh, Dorovic. And he won't be on that list. But anyway, that's going to end another episode of the Creative Club Career Mode. I would have honestly done more today, um, but the Manchester Derby is on, and I can't miss that because it's the Manchester Derby. My favourite team in there. Um, hopefully we're going to beat Man City. Um, but I, I'm going to be honest, I don't see it happening. You never know though. But anyway, like I said, that's going to wrap it up this time. And I'll see you next time when we take on Walsall first. Followed by Swindon and Rochdale. Maybe I'll end February next episode. We might get through four games. We'll see. But that is where we're going to end it today. Like I said, see you guys next time.